All right, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the first ever American Language Center podcast. Or yes. AOC podcast. Right, for sure. For Much sure. better. Yeah. Uh, my name's Adam. And I'm Sakina. We are both teachers here at the American Language Center. And we thought it would be a great idea to get all of our students involved in creating a weekly podcast for everyone. Mm-hmm. And what's going to be on the podcast? Uh, you're probably wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll each week we'll talk about the news. Stories. Yeah. Check this out. An entertainment piece where uh-huh. we can all share the things that we're listening to and watching. We've got uh, <clears throat> all kinds of games, uh, mm-hmm. opinion pieces, lots of different things in the works. Yeah. Uh, hopefully uh, we can get many of these episodes out to you soon. Uh, starting off today, we've got uh, our appropriately uh, titled English language segment. English language segment called What's, What's Up, Up With That? that? <laughs> so, uh, well, let's see. Why don't we take a listen and find out? All right. What's up with that? Hello, everyone. Welcome to the ALC podcast coming at you from the American Language Center in Ushda. My name is Adam, uh, and we're here today with the segment of What's Up With That, where we discuss uh, English language, uh, questions about the English language, yeah. questions, uh, little quandaries, quizzical items, things that are very confusing for learners of the English language and for native speakers like myself. So again, my name's Adam. I'm joined here with Mehdi. 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 Yeah. Mehdi. Thanks for being here. How are you? Thank you. I'm great. Yeah. And Khalid. Okay, great. Yeah, thanks for uh, joining me today. So let's start off. How long have how long have you been studying English, uh, Medi? How about you, um, Medi? Uh, in the center or? Uh, oh, just in general. In general. Yeah. Um, five years now. Five years now. Wow. Mm, yeah. Yeah. But it was not like uh, concentrated uh, courses. It was like just. Two two hours per week. Okay, one hour so you had a little different. bit of education. Uh, yeah, yeah, in English. Yeah. yeah, and then you've been at the center for. Mm, it's my first. In my first, yeah. Okay, wow, yeah. yeah. How, Kelly, how about you? How long have you been studying English? Only four years. Okay, four yeah. years. Uh huh. And four years at the center, or no, did you have yeah. some uh, other education? Just school one. Okay, so. One of the things that often gets language learner, uh, English language learners, from my experience as a teacher, is the spelling. There's not many rules <laughs> yeah. to uh, the spelling. To how we to how we spell words and how we pronounce words can often be very different. So I'm going to, for this segment, I'm going to present you guys with a few words. Okay. We'll see if you know how they're pronounced. And then we'll talk about uh, some of the history between uh, the history of why these words are spelled that way. So the first word I'm going to present to you, uh, I'll just have you try and pronounce this mm. word. Colonel. 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 Colonel or colonel. <laughs> so this word for the listeners, uh, C O L O N E L, looks like colonel. The pronunciation, though, is colonel. 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 So where is the R? Well, that's weird. <laughs> where is the R? Uh, so any ideas of why this word is spelled that way? Colonel. I don't know. Uh huh. No like ideas. Some history stuff. Yeah. Right. Good. Some history. So uh, it looks like this word was actually uh, Colonel. Colonel. It's pronounced Colonel. Was mm-hmm. borrowed from. Uh, French in about the 1500s, uh, so a long time ago. Uh, it seems like English borrowed a lot of the uh, French military vocabulary. Uh, other words like, let's see if I can say cav- cavalry. <laughs> How would you say this in French? Wait, uh, cavalry. Cavalry. Okay. Cavalry. Which we say cavalry. Uh, in, let's try this. My French not good. Uh, infantry. Infantry, <laughs> which would be uh, infantry now. Citadel. Uh huh. Cannon. Uh huh. Citadel, cannon. Uh, colonel. 
Uh-huh. Uh, and is, is that French word? Yeah, Co- and oh, oh, coronel. coronel. So what is a coronel? I don't know. It's like a general. It's uh-huh. like so general. It's, it's the... I don't know. Uh-huh. Just get... Yeah, uh-huh. right. So it looks like this is a word that uh, came from French a long time ago. Uh, and at some point by the middle of the 17th century, so a few hundred years later, uh, in a, an attempt to do some kind of Latin spelling, okay, okay. the R changed to an L. Okay, yeah. so we have the spelling colonel, <laughs> colonel, yeah. which in, is in pronounced that, colonel. Yeah, but in that case, it's the, it's the opposite. It's like the L became the R. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, famous for uh, yes. Colonel Sanders. Yes. Yeah. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Of the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you have KFC? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have some in Morocco, yeah. right? I think I saw some in Marrakesh. Marrakesh yeah. in uh, uh, Casablanca in. Uh-huh. I don't know. Like I am a little bit surprised why we don't have KFC in Wujda, because it will, it will work. It would work. You yeah. Think have a good. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Uh, let's try this word. I'm just gonna go random. Uh, Kneed. 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 So this is spelled K N E A D. Kneed. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And the pronunciation, if you're familiar with some other similar words like this in English, uh, this word is pronounced need. 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 Kind of like no. We pronounce or we spell no, no, but pronounce it no. No. Other words like that that you can think of. First of all, I want to just to okay. say uh, to our audience that uh, Knid is uh, uh, actually our mothers, like every Moroccan mothers, mm-hmm. well, every Moroccan mother know how to need. Ah, uh, so yeah, like, everyone knows <laughs> how to need. So what is it? Yeah. What is this meaning? Need. need. It's not the meaning like I need something to yeah. do, but like we need. Yeah, it's like it's obvious from the picture. Uh-huh. It's like to uh, to roll the bread. Yeah, yeah to right. Roll to roll the, the dough. Yeah. For making bread. Yeah, for making bread. Yeah. So we have a couple of things going on here. We have first off this K N yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. We also have this E A D. So for example, we need bread. K N E A D. Yeah. Need, but then bread B R. Again, E A D D. D, yeah. So why don't we need breed <laughs> for <laughs> Ned Bread? <laughs> What's the difference here? What happened with this E A? Uh, some history uh, stuff again. <laughs> again, some history stuff. Again, guess, Khalid, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of it, yeah. Uh-huh. What do we call these letters? To confuse us? Yeah, right, to confuse those learners, to make it difficult for you to learn the language. Uh huh. Any ideas? Why? So again, this is another, again, history. This is another uh, thing that came from Old English, okay? So these vowels would have been pronounced very differently. For example, the word meat, meaning M-E-A-T, right? So in about the 1500s, this word was pronounced, I think, met. Yeah. Okay. So it would have been met. Met, Then after a while it was pronounced mate. Meat. Meat. Okay. And then it kind of did this might. And now it's meat. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, so over time, over hundreds of years, right, these words change. The pronunciations of the words change, right? But the spellings stay relatively the same. Okay. okay. Uh, this is part of what we're calling the great vowel shift. Has anyone heard of the great vowel shift? Great vowel shift. Yeah, great vowel shift. We'll talk about this more, I'm sure. But this what? is where exactly what I was talking about, these words like met, okay. become meet. Why the, pronu- why the pronunciation changed every time? Ah, uh, why? I think that's a good question. That's something that a lot of people have uh, tried to figure out over time, but it's very difficult to put any sort of uh, definite reason. Okay. Likely what it is is that we have uh, a lot of different people speaking English, right? And as you know, you know, English comes from 
Uh, England. It, well, a bit. It comes from. Uh, it's a lot of it's from French. Yeah. Right. As we yeah. mentioned, we borrow a lot of words from French. We borrow a lot of words from German. Right. Italian. It's yeah. We've it's spread over. Right. It's a. Uh, it's as you know, it's one of the biggest languages in the world, or the most widely spoken languages in the world. Yeah. So you go all over different places, and people have very different ways of pronouncing things based on. Yeah, maybe their other language backgrounds, the right? Their accents, right? Different dialects. And these things change over time. Uh, like, here's an example, something I'm always confused. Do you say Ujda or Wajda? Uh, Ujda. Ujda. Yeah. Ujda, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah it's something like between the two. Because the pronunciation of Dariza is different from the Arabic, the language. Oh, okay, so the pronunciation is different from, but what does that mean? It's different from the Arabic language? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Ujda is not an Arabic word? No, no, it's, it's actually it's an Arabic word. Oh, okay. But uh, uh, it's like the dialects, uh, it's ch we change, it's like, it's like the same thing, mm -hmm. but uh, we change the pronunciation because the, uh, the dialects have no rules. Mm. And we we spell it in a way that uh, that it would be easy yes. and uh, faster to spell. Okay. Because like if we spell it, if we try to spell every word, every Arabic word, into its uh, its uh, real spelling, uh -huh. we're gonna have a lot of time. We're gonna take a lot time. of time to to just uh, okay. uh, tell yeah. one one uh, sentence. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's always interesting to me, too, the way towns or cities and stuff like that are pronounced. Like Marrakesh yeah. is what? Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Mar 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 yeah, right. Mar Mar it's not, right. Moroccans don't say Marrakesh. Yeah, yeah Americans Mar Mar say Marrakesh. And Spanish people say, uh, oh, wait, no. Isn't this, the name, uh, isn't the, na the name of the city Marrakesh what influenced why it was called Morocco for like the French people? Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. they called it Morocco, or Spanish people say it yeah. like Mar Marruecos yes. or something yeah, like yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. uh -huh. Mar Marrakesh was once the capital of Morocco. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, uh, uh, that's the name uh -huh. that was uh, inspired for, for name in Morocco or Morocco. Yeah. And yeah, so as you see, right, as these words kind of spread throughout different cultures, even different, you know, different languages and countries adopt different uh, words, right, they kind of change. Let's do one more. How about this word? I think you probably know how to pronounce this one. Yeah. Island. 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 But why is it not is Island? <laughs> or Iceland? Iceland. Yes. yes <laughs> Where did this S, yeah, a silent S, which is a strange thing yeah. to have. Yeah. Why is there? Why have the S if it's silent? So it's uh, uh -huh. written more beautifully. Ah, so it's written more beautifully. Uh huh. So again, this is another thing with uh, kind of adopting this sort of Latin spelling of the word. Uh, let's see what it says here. So, ancient Latin words, right, had new spellings. So. Uh, Oh, right, so uh, this is a Latin-inspired letter that got stuck into a word that hadn't even come from Latin. So island comes from Old English, which is Igland. <laughs> it says it was spelled, oh, uh, no, 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 so it was spelled I-G-L-U-N-D. Yeah, maybe like England, maybe very similar to the, to the country England, yeah. which is an island, uh, but it was spelled I-L-L-O-N-D. Yeah. Or Y L O N D E, or I L A N D E, uh, and so it says. <laughs> this is interesting. It looks like someone just stuck the letter from Latin, which was insula, for island. Okay. So someone somehow just stuck the S in there, assuming that it somehow needed to fit, uh, <laughs> but no one ever pronounced it like that. So now we have Island, Iceland, or Island. Okay. And the S got stuck. Yeah. So, any other what like was this is this something that's been challenging for you as language learners yes. finding yeah. words yeah. and yeah. not knowing how to yeah, pronounce definitely. them? Yeah, definitely. Because sometimes what happen uh, uh, if you when uh, sometimes you you forget the pronunciation. Uh -huh. And then uh, when you when you see the words 
to pronounce it like uh, Iceland, something like that. Yeah, right. right. It's happened with, with me a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not exactly. Yeah. yeah. I first learned English by hearing it, not uh, okay. hearing it. Yeah. Then I s saw the difference between uh, hearing it and uh, writing it. Ah, interesting. Like, so you like Wednesday. There is a D. Uh -huh. yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Let's do another one and we can maybe talk about this one a little bit next time. But I just want to see how do you pronounce this word? Comfortable. Com comfortable. 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 Okay. <laughs> so here's my pronunciation is comfortable. Comfortable. comfortable, which if you look at the spelling here, C-O-M-F-O, so this O goes away in the pronunciation, yeah. and I also for some reason switched the T and the uh, R uh, okay. to not comfortable, okay. comfortable, comfortable, <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> mm. Uh, so we won't go into that one now. Maybe we can pick up there next time because there's a lot of other different reasons why we might pronounce words like this that don't have to do with just spelling or yeah. history, borrowing from languages. It's like a game when you switch. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. right. There are lots of things that go on, uh, that go on with pronunciation uh, with uh, all aspects of English. So I, that's all we have for today. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to thank you, Khalid and Mehdi, thank for you. Uh, joining me today. Thank you. And hopefully we will see you next time uh, for another edition of What's Up With That. Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay. It was my pleasure. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Oh, moving on, the next segment is storytelling. And uh, I did this with Hasna Fatima Zara and Shema. And we had a guest, Daniel. Ah, Daniel, the teacher. Right, yeah. yeah. Another so let's, teacher, yeah. Yeah, let's hear what they have to say. Yeah, I'm really interested to find out. All right, hey, everybody. So, the storytelling segment of the ALT podcast is where we'll come together and share our stories related to a specific theme. So, uh, this week's theme is called Too Little Too Late, and it's all about procrastination or waiting until the very last moment to do something, or sometimes you don't even do it. Um, <laughs> so my name is Sakina, and I'm a teacher at the ALC, and I am here with Fatima Zara. Hi, how are you today? Shema. Hi, everyone. And Hasna. Hi, guys. All right. So when looking for other people to help tell their stories of procrastination, I uh, ran into Dan, who is also a teacher at the ALC, and uh, he's new this year, and uh, he was happy to share his stories of procrastination because, like he said, he's a chronic procrastinator. So we'll all take a listen to Dan, the procrastinator. Yeah. 
these safaris? How did it come out of colonialism? And it was, it, it was actually interesting um, until you have the exams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. What was the exam like? Was it a written exam or was it like an essay kind of yeah, exam? It was, it was an essay. It was maybe a eight-page essay. Oof. And those are difficult to start. Yeah. You know, you're, you're dreading kind of getting through it. Um, so I didn't even start it. I didn't even start the, the essay. Yeah. Yeah. Man, so how do you think your life now would be different or would have been different had you had done that essay on <laughs> yeah. the worries? Well, although I don't condone procrastination, I also think everything happens for a reason. Okay. So because I, I dropped out of graduate school, that's why I came to Morocco uh -huh. to study Arabic. I needed a change. I needed something different in my life. And then because I was in Morocco, I met my wife. Right. So I say it was it was the best worst decision I ever made. Oh, okay. Yes. You know, trying to make a positive out of something negative. Um, so yeah, in the end, it worked out for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I wouldn't recommend procrastinating because yeah. it usually doesn't end well. Yeah. And do you still procrastinate now? Did you learn your lesson or? I absolutely still procrastinate. I still yeah. procrastinate. Yeah. It's it's almost something impossible to to avoid. I mean, it's it's human nature, right? Yeah. Procrastinating. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Dan. Thanks for having me. All right. Oh, so there you have Dan. I really like the positive uh, spin he had on that. So it was his best, worst mistake. Mm -hmm. And he always makes positive out of negative. So that was really cool. Yeah, it was so romantic. Yeah, it was really, <laughs> yeah, like just grossly romantic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, even that class, the safari class, that actually sounds kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It may be cool. Right. Hasna, do you have a school related procrastination yeah. story? Yeah, or? Actually, my story is so similar. Uh, so I had once to write an essay uh, instead of passing the exam and I kept procrastinating until the uh, night before the deadline and when I uh, tried to write something I was just lost, I didn't know what to yeah. write, where to start from and it was so frustrating and I didn't do it so when, it, when I uh, went to pass the receipt exam because we get this other chance to pass the exam. Oh yeah, like a makeup. Yeah, a makeup. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it was so hard that I got like five as a mark. It was so hard, wow. and I didn't pass. So now I'm stuck at the fifth semester just because that particular uh, that one subject, and I had to study for another year at oh. the university instead of graduating from it. Right. So it was the worst thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. Now, are you like further behind than your friends that you're studying with, or? Yeah, they graduated, and I'm still there. Wow, because just that because one, that yeah. one essay yeah. that you could have written. Just one essay to do. Yeah. What was the class? It was uh, novel studies. Oh. We studied these uh, novels, and he gave us the teacher gave us some questions. We had to analyze the uh, novel and talk about it mm. right in an essay and I didn't do it. The yeah. novel was I think Silas Marner. Oh <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> right. Was it in English? Yes, of course in English. Right, okay. And uh uh Shay, you also are studying English. Did you have a similar procrastination story with yeah. studies or Yes, I have one. Uh, I had an exam and um, I was thinking every day to study to this exam, but of course I didn't. So I started to think about the last day before the exam to study. Mm, like and we all do. Yeah, <laughs> like we all do. And of course I failed in, in the, my exam and I was expelled from the subject. Wow, so you were, <laughs> the, you were expelled? Yes because uh, I didn't do my project and didn't pass my exam <laughs> and I have at least to answer 10 questions and I didn't do anything so uh, I was stuck in this, in this semester I failed in all the semester but like um, I 
apologize to my professor. Did it work? <laughs> yeah, and he forgave me and let me uh, pass the other uh, chance to pass my my exam. But it was hard because uh, I was. Uh, I feel like I'm a loser. <laughs> oh, no, no. So wait, so all you have to do is say sorry, and then your teachers will just give you a second chance? Yes, because I'm not work? really but not all the time. students. Not all the time. Yeah. Sometimes they, uh, Some they cooperate teachers. with yeah. us and help us, but mm -hmm. other, some other teachers don't. It's just oh, it's just like if you don't do it, nope. then yes. you missed your chance. Until yeah. next year. Oh, good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Man, like, what makes you procrastinate with school exams? Is it just because the yeah, subjects are boring, or yeah. like what? And sometimes you are not interested in the subject because, like, for me, I wasn't interested in law. Mm -hmm. That's why I was, I was all the time procrastinate, and I didn't study anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Man, so like, I've been out of school for almost five years. So my procrastination stories have nothing to do with exams but just like everyday life procrastination. <laughs> and uh, one of the big things too is uh, buying plane tickets too late and procrastinating um, because every summer I go to America and already coming from Morocco to America is expensive in general. And um, it's ideal if you, you know, buy your ticket three months in advance or four months. Um, so then that way you're paying the lowest price possible. So, like me, no. I wait sometimes like a month before, even like a few weeks. And I even go as far as like planning all these plans with my friends and telling them, oh, I'm going to be here on this day. Like, can we meet up the day after? And et cetera. Knowing full well that I didn't buy any sort of ticket whatsoever. And then you, you know, go and try to buy the ticket. And the, the plane is either full or it's even more expensive, double the price. Um, so yeah, so for me, I'm a, I've lost a lot of money just procrastinating on buying plane tickets. Like one day I'll learn. I don't think I've learned my lesson yet. <laughs> it's yeah, even worse. I, yeah. It's even worse from uh, education. Yeah. Procrastinating. Yeah. Because you can study for next year, but you can't yeah, but you can't get that money get back. That money back. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. But we lost uh, many a chance to in our lives, so yeah, yeah if you really don't think that worst thing can happen in our lives. You don't have to procrastinate with studying. I don't know if that like uh, happened to you in your studying. I just open my book and I feel sleepy, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, because you start thinking of all these excuses, like yeah. what you, oh, I need to eat. Like, oh, yeah. well, I should have the lighting or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a small look to my Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I take a small nap and return to study. Yeah, or maybe just a 30 minute nap and then you end up in bed with Netflix. <laughs> like, what was I supposed to be doing? Yeah, yeah. right. We prefer to do something funny. Yeah, because it's entertaining. Yeah, study yeah. it's boring. Yeah. yeah. I like to study before the day of the, uh, to dance before the, the day of the exam. Yeah. Dance. Make me, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dance I was <laughs> mine, I'm like. <laughs> oh, with some music and yeah, shake, it yeah. off, <laughs> shake it off before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and that's pretty good. good study. Man. Yeah. Zizar, do you have any uh, life experience? Procrastination or what? Like, what was the last? Yeah, totally. I have different uh, experience in procrastinate. Okay, mostly I procrastinate. <laughs> procrastination. You almost had it. Like you, you just said the last part. Okay. <laughs> Mostly I uh, procrastinate uh, on doing grow up uh, thing like mm -hmm. um, uh, buying uh, clothes, uh, buying food or clothes. Uh, I remember last year uh, when I uh, when I the sgher uh, came. Then all my family bought uh, a n a new uh, new clothes and I uh, I kept procrastinate until mm -hmm. the 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 night before uh, before I sleep. And um, I went to Medina, you know Medina. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I, fo I, I like found it. and I found clothes more expensive, <laughs> and I, <laughs> and I didn't uh, buy anything. Mm -hmm. Then I stayed uh, I stayed at 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 home all day. That's all. This is my uh, experience. So it's and like I you were in prison because you had to stay at home with all of your family. I I felt embarrassing. 
Oh. Yeah. And there was no way you could have just gone out with your old clothes. Like, what would have happened? No, because all uh, all my family they, uh, they have new clothes, so uh, no one uh, can uh, borrow me. Yeah, it's like a oh, yeah. You have to wear new clothes. Isn't it? Like yeah. new clothes? Personally, oh. I don't buy new clothes. Me too. Oh, I love that thing. Because I think that's it. But only uh, children do that. Yeah. Yes. Mm. yeah I, I, uh, I think when I. Um, uh, okay, last year, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were a child last year? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna explain, but I remember <laughs> this. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, in our family, uh, yeah. we all uh, buy in your clothes, so. Uh, this is uh, just a child, so right. yeah. Everybody. And uh, actually, uh, it's knowing that that uh, oh, everybody should uh, buy in new clothes, in new clothes, yeah. Yeah. And what's the traditional clothes that you wear? Jalaba. <laughs> just jalaba. No, we can't. Not just jalaba. Yeah. Jabado. 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 No. Yeah. It's uh, it's like jalaba but with a pen. With ah, a yeah. so it's a two yeah. piece. Yeah. Two yeah, pieces. Two piece. Oh, that's yeah. actually pretty nice. Yeah, and you can wear that. Katans, yeah. And the kids wear this as well? No. No. Not all kids. Not all kids. You know, they buy you. Jeans. Oh, okay. So everything. they don't have to go like as traditional as yeah. you know, older and yeah. Yeah. Right. Kids, the kids they don't like the traditional uh, yeah. <laughs> clothes. Yeah. They yeah. like to be. Do they even like make like baby jalabas and? Yes. Yeah. Aww, they're so cute. cute. Yeah. yeah. Cute. All right, guys. So that's it for storytelling. Too little, too late. Tune in next week. We'll have a different theme. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> So that was our storytelling segment on procrastination. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you a procrastinator, Adam? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can totally identify with a lot of those uh, stories. Yeah, I don't think there's any person on the planet that doesn't procrastinate. Absolutely not. <laughs> right, right. So what are we going to check out this week? Uh, well, we have Kautar, uh, Muhammad, Salima, and Kautar, uh, <laughs> interestingly enough, uh, they are going to talk about uh, probably one of the uh, most well-known movies of all time. Definitely. Titanic. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You've yeah. seen Titanic, huh? Oh, I've seen yeah. Titanic so many times. Yeah. Brings back memories. So. <laughs> Good memories. Yeah. Well, let's see, what, uh, let's see what our friends have to say. All right, check this out. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, welcome to Check This Out, a segment where we talk about movies, music, etc. So my name is Kautar and I'm joined here today with Salima, Hi. Kautar hey. and Mohammed. Hi. So today we are going to talk about Titanic and um, uh, you may know that it's about a 17 years old aristocrat falls in love with a kind but poor artist abroad, the luxurious, ill-fated RMS Titanic. So we are going to represent some interesting facts and why is it so special in the worldwide, but especially in Morocco. Yeah. So why don't we start with you, Salima? Okay, I have a fact that studios want uh, Matthew McConaughey to play Jack, but James Cameron uh, inst insisted on having Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, wow. Yeah. So why do you think he insisted about? You know? uh, I think uh, Cameron was sure about the the capacity and uh, the 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 performance of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. What do you think, Kalta? Uh, I think about uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is the best actor for this uh, movie because he played it very well and uh, he acts uh, like it was a real. What about you? Actually, I think he chose him because he was young and uh, handsome, and uh, he was talented. And uh, okay, so when we don't move to another fact. Yes, I have another fact, which is uh, Titanic was the first film to be released on video while it was still being shown in theater. Okay. So yeah. why is that? Because uh, this shows uh, that uh, this movie Titanic was really. Uh, really interesting for everyone that they watch it both on video and theater. They yeah. were impatient to watch it. Yes. Really. yes. Really. Salima, another fact? Uh, Kate Winslet 
was one of the few actors who didn't want to wear a wet suit during the making uh, the water scene. As a result, she got a pneumonia. <laughs> okay, okay. Or she. <laughs> yeah, she was sick. Okay, Mohammed, a fact. Uh, James Cameron drew all the pictures in Jack's chick sketchbook. The, the, the hands seen in sketching in Rose were not Jack's, but uh, Cameron's. Oh, mm. we all thought about yeah, it was, uh, that uh, Leonardo, it was Leonardo DiCaprio's hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's interesting, actually. <laughs> Uh, another scene in the movie where an elderly couple, they are seen hacking on the bed while water floods. These couple are the owners of Massey uh, department store in New York. Okay. So, uh, their names are Irene and Azador Strauss, uh, both of whom died on the Titanic. Uh, Ida was offered a seat on the life, but she refused because she could stay with her husband, saying, uh, as we have lived together, we shall die together. Wow, romantic. Salima. <laughs> Do you know that the most of the decor on the ship was under the supervision of researchers of the White Star Line, the original company which constructed and uh, furnished the, the Titanic? Okay, yeah. so I didn't know that. what do you think about the decor? Do you agree with the... Uh, yeah, the decor was, that, was such perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Salim, uh, culture, sorry. Uh, the decor was uh, really related to uh, to the movie and it was uh, ex uh, expressive the movie. Mohammed? Ah, I could actually uh, read it. That's, it, that's, uh, that's true, okay. because uh, the piece of water in PN9 that was uh, plotted on after uh, sinking is based off uh, on a genius uh, architect that survived in the sinking and uh, is on display at the Martin Museum of Atlantic uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Oh, wow. Did you know, guys, also that in the scene where the water comes crashing into, uh, into the grand staircase room, the filmmakers only had one shot in it because the entire set and furnishings were going to be destroyed in the shot, so they had just mm -hmm. one chance to to yeah. to film the the, the scene, scene, and they they succeeded. They did it. And they yeah. Did it. yeah, such a good actors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So Mohammed, another fact. Ah uh, yes, Titanic was the first film James Cameron ever directed that did not include the over mission in clear openings. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So uh, guys, can you tell me why is it so special? to you and to Moroccans. Kalchar? I think uh, Moroccans loved uh, the movie and uh, it's, it makes it so special for them because uh, the actors played their role with passion and love that the audience didn't feel like it was a, a movie with edition and production, but it was a movie with, uh, with passion and uh, everybody who watched it felt like it's a real story. Yeah, what do you think, Salima? The open arm scene uh, of Jake, Jack and Rose was the thing that pushed uh, the most of, uh, of the, uh, to the audience to see the movie. And when I watched the, it, I realized that the story was uh, unexpected and it uh, impressed me a lot. Mohammed? Uh, I want to talk about uh, financial. The movie was uh, the most expensive film made or, of, at the time with the estimated budget of uh, 200 million and uh, what is shocking is that become the second film to gross more than 2 billion worldwide wow <laughs> billion dollars <laughs> yeah. deserves it <laughs> so guys can you share with me your best scenes in the movie let's start with Salim I say that the open arm scene and also the scene where the 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 ship wa was sinking, and uh, the pl the pianist was play still pia uh, playing on his piano, and also the guitarist. Yeah. It was uh, the yeah the best yeah. yeah the best one of the best scenes yeah. yeah because everybody was afraid, and they kept playing to calm yeah, the to calm the yeah yeah. What about you, Kalta? Uh, the scene that attracts me is when uh, the ship sank in the water, and everybody was frightened. And uh, Jack was uh, searching for uh, for uh, Rose. Rose. Yeah. And this scene was really attractive. Yeah. Mohammed. Uh, the best part when uh, Leonardo DiCaprio dressed well and uh, go to the first class to yes. join the, the meeting. Yes. Yes. That was great, actually. Yeah. Oh, for me, uh, my best scene was 
when um, Rose jumped, but she came back to the ship and she told Jack that um, if you jump, I jump, remember? So yeah. that was so my perfect. best scene yeah. in the movie. <laughs> yes, yes. Also, the song. What do you think, guys, about the song of Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On? This yes. song was really... Uh, it was a masterpiece. Yes, yeah. it was really related to the scene and uh, it attracts all people who watch yes. it. Did you like it? Somehow? Yes, I liked it. And uh, I, I was uh, young, I didn't understand English and I, uh, I, I so know it by heart. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mohammed. Yes, I like it actually. I still hear it sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, me too. <laughs> <laughs> all of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is this is it. Thank you guys for listening and Thank you. goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>that was another edition of check, check this, this out. out so if you haven't already go ahead and watch titanic or maybe watch it again for the second third or fourth time yeah and let us know what you think uh look us up on facebook mm -hmm. uh, alc podcast yeah and drop us a line in the comments or even other movies music things that you want us to talk about all right good so now we want to uh, give you guys a chance, uh, listeners at home. Exactly, to, to play along. Yeah, play along with our weekly game segment. Ooh, Ooh. what's the game this week? Well, this week we have uh, uh, myself with Reda, Khalid, Kautar, and Mehdi. Okay. Uh, and we're playing the classic game of 20 questions. Ah, classic 20 questions. Yeah. Have used this in class several times. It's a, it's a great <laughs> game, easy game. To, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, everyone, get ready, listen up, and let's play 20 questions. Welcome, everybody, to the LC Podcast. I'm your host, Khalid, and then today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a game. I'm, I'm joined today with Rado. Hey, guys. Mehdi. Hey, guys. Kota. Hi, everyone. And Al. Hello. Sorry, I'm going to skip my chair here. No worries. Okay. The game is very simple. It's 20 questions. I'll, st I'll choose uh, celebrity. 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 <laughs> Celebrity, yeah. Celebrity. <laughs> and uh, it's my, in my head. Then the other people will get, uh, ask me 20 questions. If they guess it before that, uh, they win. win. The first one to guess it, he gets the point. If they, they don't guess it, hopefully you guess it. Because they're not going to ask. And what kind of questions are we asking? These are all... We can only ask one kind of question, right? Yeah. Yeah. A yes or no yeah. question. Yes, yes or no question. Yeah. Okay. So, so, five questions each. Five questions each? No, but... No, no we just are doing questions. the... Uh -huh. No, uh, uh, so we choose if we just doing the... It's like uh, one after yeah. one, or just random... Okay. I don't know. Whenever you like to think, ask a question, ask it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So... Okay, so uh, that would be great. Just, okay. I need to think about this a little bit. Okay, so Kyrie is going to think about just a celebrity. It should, uh, should be famous. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, sure. From any sector, like politician, yeah. actor. Yeah. I got to start with the easy one, yes. Okay. I have the celebrity in my mind. Okay. Uh, is, is he a man or a woman? A man. Is he an actor? Uh, we need to ask a yes or no question. Yes. No, is yeah. he a man? Yes. Is he an actor? Yes. <laughs> is he American? Yes. Has he ever been in TV? Yes. Um. <laughs> Does he sing? No. <laughs> Is he good looking? Some people think he's good looking. Is he old? He doesn't look old, but he's old. Okay. He's old. He does look old, yes. He does look <laughs> old. Yeah. He does look old. Is he black? No. Has he made any movies this year? He was part of... This year? No. No. Um, Can I guess? Yeah. Is it just two movies? No. Yeah, only two. Yeah. Only two. No, we have... Uh, no. Ten. No, no. 
But if you if say the the name, you have. If you will get to the oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so we have two more chances to guess the name. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Did he win an Oscar? Yes. Mm, he won an Oscar. Mm-hmm. Was uh, <clears throat> was he ever on a movie, or uh, was he ever uh, in a movie that was about a, a boat? <laughs> okay. Oh man. Okay. Um, is he married? Mm, is he married? Yes. Yeah. Have he ever been in The Godfather? <laughs> no. Um, oh God. Uh, wait. Uh, does he play a role uh, with the fighting? No. Really have. Usually, are you sure? Really he, make he usually does, he does, he's not the main role. He just appears in sometimes. Is he that famous? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. A lot. Okay. Is he married? Huh? Yeah. I, think I would say, say that one. Robert De Niro? Robert De Niro? No. 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 Oh, oh, okay. okay, we have one more chance left. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, you just asked the wrong question. <laughs> When he asks me if he is an actor, he's an actor. Uh-huh. He's not. Uh, he's not his first uh, job. He's a model. He's not. A, he's not no. the main uh, character. You mean? No. Is he? Okay. So he, he works with something else. Is his other job? Uh, is he a producer? No. Is his other job in politics? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you guess? <laughs> is it? But we only have one guess left. Uh, is he the president of America? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, so it's Donald is it Trump? Donald Trump? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh my good. God. Oh, okay. So you. S- all right. Okay. Good. Is good. He, Just he has been in movies. Yeah, he has been. Never yeah. in. Uh, yeah, never in like a role. He has the cameo appearance. Like, uh, uh, he does. Okay. But actually, oh, he. Uh, so he home he alone. Said, yeah. Home alone yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Home alone. He's rich uh, friends. Oh, he yeah. asks you, is he is he old? She. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You should say yes. He's old. He said, "You yeah, 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 yeah
very famous, like recent, like currently, like he's famous yeah, and in a lot of movies now. Not really in a lot of movies. This year he made not a lot of movies. Well, three, two. Movies. But he did make some movies. Big movies this year. What is it? No, they didn't make it that big. But he was, he's a really famous guy. So I'm not sure what we even know about this guy. Yeah. He's just an American actor. <laughs> he's not good in the game. I didn't say he wasn't good looking. I said, I guess. Yeah, that's a tough question to answer, though, because there's not a lot of... Um, but Can you give does, us a hint? Does he, does he, uh, he play in uh, Pirates of Curry? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, so, oh should we do a uh, make a guess about who it is? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I know who it is. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Is he the main uh, role? Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. So oh, he's. Uh, is he? <laughs> Do you know this? Do you yes. know this? Yes. Yes. Is it Johnny Depp? Yes. 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 Uh, okay. So that's Johnny all the time Depp. we have for today. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks, uh, Kautar, Meghdi, Redda, Kali, and everyone you too, for joining Kyle. us. And Thank you. It was we'll fun. see you next yeah. week. Okay, bye. All right, so that wraps it up for our very first episode of the ALC podcast. All right. Yeah. And don't forget to like our Facebook page, get on Facebook, ALC podcast. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you want us to talk about in future episodes. Right. And next week, uh, we have quite a bit on the... Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the old pipeline coming e- down. Exactly. Maybe talking a little bit about some wedding traditions. American and Moroccan. And Moroccan, yeah. yeah. We, got, we know how much you love your weddings. <laughs> uh, stories about... Uh, Lying, right? Ooh, lying, be interesting to hear. yeah. The top lies that you that you guys tell, uh-huh. and uh, another uh, classic. classic, yeah. Oh man, Shawshank so. Redemption. All right. Yeah. So plus more to come with other news, games, and uh, bits of fun. random things. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for listening. Okay. Peace out.